what is an uncontested divorce? I'm often asked this question because people think that just simply if parties agree to get divorced, that's enough. That's an uncontested divorce. Well, it really isn't. An uncontested divorce is a divorce in which the parties not only have agreed to get divorced, but they've also agreed on how they're going to separate their property, how they're going to divide the assets that they've accumulated over a lifetime of uh, being together. And that could include pensions. It could include retirement accounts. It could include bank accounts. Um, they've decided what they're going to do with their children. If the children are under the age of uh, 21, uh, they've decided how to uh, collect and pay child support and how much that's going to be. And they've decided whether there's going to be any kind of alimony or maintenance. So a, an uncontested divorce is really everything's kind of been worked out and you come to an attorney and you say, we've worked everything out. We're ready to proceed. It's just a matter of printing out documents and getting them uh, signed and then having them submitted in court. An uncontested divorce uh, is not right for everybody. Um, and unless you've got all these things worked out, then it's really not right for you. However, uh, if you are still inclined to consider doing an uncontested divorce and you think it might be right for you, I would suggest you come in, have a discussion with us. We can evaluate your case, give you a real uh, no-nonsense assessment as to whether it's in your interest to proceed with an uncontested divorce. We can discuss what you're thinking about in terms of a settlement and if it makes sense for you. Now, one of the things that we uh, caution clients about when they're considering doing an uncontested divorce is to understand that while you maybe save a few dollars now, the long-term cost of an uncontested divorce resulting from the waiver of child support or maintenance or uh, an interest in any kind of real property or pension or anything like that may far outweigh the amount you're saving. Um, just by an example, if, for example, um, you are entitled to an additional $200 a month in child support um, and your child is two years old, okay? That's $2,400 a year and that's $2,400 a year applied for the next 19 years. So is your saving of $5,000, let's say, at the, at the time you're doing a divorce worth the waiver of nearly $200,000 over a lifetime. That $200,000 can pay for college. That $200,000 can pay for um, a house or it can be used for all kinds of things that you may not have thought about at the time you're filing for your divorce. So you do need to weigh all these things. We can help you do that. Um, so if you're interested, you can give us a call at 718-233-2903.